Performance is central to the all-new 2025 Ford Mustang GTD's mission, but its artistry and craftsmanship are also on display with a cabin that serves as a showcase for its state-of-the-art race-ready suspension. Measuring roughly 24 inches wide by 10 inches tall and made of polycarbonate with a scratch-resistant coating added to both sides, the suspension window puts the hard work of the engineering teams on display like a finely crafted precision timepiece. From active aerodynamics to a carbon fiber body, magnesium wheels, and a rear transaxle, the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is a showcase for race-proven technology driving the development of road-going vehicles. The centerpiece of that race-to-road path is the semi-active suspension that underpins the most track-capable production Mustang ever. The Mustang GTD's inboard rear suspension, where the shocks and springs sit low and between the rear wheels rather than in line and above them, is yet another example of Ford bringing learnings from the track to the road. Combined with a strong, stiff, and weight-efficient motorsport-style tubular subframe, the track-derived DNA on display in the Mustang GTD's rear end is impossible to ignore. Multimatic's proprietary adaptive spool valve dampers, meanwhile, go beyond what is allowed in the world of racing. Capable of going from their softest, firmest setting in just 15 milliseconds, six times quicker than the human eye can blink, the adaptive spool valve. Dampers continuously adapt based on the drive mode, road surface, and driver inputs to maximize the Michelin tire's contact with the road. Each damper has two springs, and when driving on the street, they work together to allow a comfortable ride. Activating the driver selectable track mode hydraulically compresses one of the springs, nearly doubling the spring rate overall and lowering the vehicle approximately 40 millimeters, about 1.6 inches, to maximize capability on the track. The stiffer spring rate aids mechanical grip, but just like on a race car, firmer springs improve aerodynamic grip too. As the Mustang GTD's active aerodynamics press down on the car at high speeds, the firmer spring rates of track mode counter aerodynamic squat and help keep the tire's contact patch as broad as possible while accelerating, braking, and cornering. The Mustang GTD will appear at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in June before heading to the 24 Hours of Spa and the Goodwood Festival of Speed. It will also spend the summer testing in Europe before attempting an officially timed sub-seven-minute lap of Germany's legendary Nürburgring Nordschleife later this year.